know what day is today? Thursday. You know what that means? Ticket Tip Thursday. Ticket Tip Thursday, Thursday pre-sales, let's talk. What's up guys, welcome back. My name is Shreds here on Thumbs Up Run. We're talking about buying tickets, selling tickets, making sure that you have all the fun with your tickets. Today we're talking all about Ticketmaster pre-sales. How do you actually go ahead and use those pre-sale codes? I know a lot of you guys have been asking, how do I actually use my Ticketmaster verified fan pre-sale code? Obviously, if you didn't use it yesterday, I can't help you anymore, but just in case you guys need to know how to use them, this information applies to any type of pre-sale code that is applied on Ticketmaster, verified fan pre-sale or not. All sorts of other pre-sales go on all the time, so this information would be great and very helpful for all of you pre-sale junkies. Just to cover our bases, we're going to talk about three different things. One, what exactly is a pre-sale code? Two, where do you go ahead and actually find these codes? And then number three, how do you actually go ahead and use this pre-sale code on Ticketmaster? Same thing applies to other sites, but we're just gonna focus on Ticketmaster today. So first off, what exactly is a pre-sale code? So as you guys already know, a pre-sale is basically a sale for tickets that goes on in advance of the general sale. General sale, let's say, is on a Friday, so they'll have pre-sales on the Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, so that people can get tickets at different times and potentially get tickets before everybody else. Pre-sales themselves are designed both as a marketing tactic and as well as a way for artists to get tickets into the hands of their true fans. It sometimes could be as simple as saying there's a fan club for a specific artist and they want to get tickets out to their fans first. Or it could be something like an Amex or a City Card who have a partnership with Ticketmaster and they say let's give our credit card holders a benefit to go ahead buy those tickets in advance of everybody else. They're basically all used the same way though. They want to make sure that tickets get sold so that everybody gets paid. On the buyer side though, it's great because you get to buy those tickets before everybody else. Sometimes you can get to buy them cheaper at a discount. Sometimes Sometimes there's other promotions going on, so there's all sorts of reasons why you would go ahead and actually use a pre-sale code. However, not everyone will always get one, so it's important that you know we talk about how to actually go ahead and find these codes so you can go ahead, use them, and make sure it goes to your advantage. So where do you go ahead and actually find these codes, you may ask? Well, let me tell you. There are a few different avenues. Like I already mentioned, you can find them with specific credit card companies. So Amex and Citi, they use very standard pre-sale codes. A lot of times it'll be the certain number of digits on the back of the card. Sometimes it's like the 1-800 number. Other times it's the starting digits of a certain credit card. If you have one of these credit cards, you can go ahead, participate in these different pre-sales, get tickets before the general masses. Second place you can go ahead and get these pre-sale codes is if you are a season ticket holder or a season seat member to certain venues or teams. If you are a season seat holder, you will normally be able to get tickets in advance of everybody else. You get a specific pre-sale code that you can go ahead and use to buy those tickets before the general public. Again, very simple. Sometimes they'll be unique. Sometimes they'll just be generic. It doesn't really matter. They all work the same way. They'll put different ticket limits on all the different codes. But once you go ahead and put them in, you'll be able to unlock and access a whole bunch of different tickets before the general masses. And the last big way of getting pre-sale codes is really just by joining fan clubs and newsletter email lists. A lot of times, these different artists and teams, they'll go ahead and actually say, hey, you guys are on my newsletter. I want to go ahead and send you guys a pre-sale code because you guys are such awesome fans. They want to make sure that you know when all the tours are going on sale. And as well, they want to make sure that you get the tickets that you want. Best way to do that, again, get into the pre-sale, get there before the general sale, get those tickets before everybody else. I don't know if I mentioned this yet, but buying pre-sale tickets is a lot better and a lot easier generally because if you're fighting for tickets at the general sale, it's usually after all the pre-sales have already taken place anyway, and this is where everybody who does not have a pre-sale code has to go and try and buy those tickets. If the venue only has a certain number of tickets and they sold most of them on the pre-sale already, you don't got good odds. So using your pre-sale codes, that is the most important. Now you have a pre-sale code, but how do you actually go ahead and use it? Let's go through a little example here. So what do I have here? I got myself some Jonas Brothers. I know Jonas Brothers, you know Jonas Brothers, everybody knows the Jonas Brothers. Basically they sent me an email saying, hey, we're, uh, we're going to perform at Hollywood Bowl and uh, I think you should come join me. And I said, oh, that's so interesting, maybe maybe I will. So then I went down through their email and said, oh, look at this, today there's a pre-sale from 10 to 10, and then there's the password right there, sucker. Are they trying to tell me something? It's not very nice. So we see the pre-sale code is there. So I'm gonna go ahead, click the buy tickets button because I want to go ahead and buy those tickets. And what I'm gonna do here is actually, I'm gonna type in the pre-sale code password. So before anything else, before I even jump and hit the button, I just want to show you when you join a pre-sale or any kind of sale through Ticketmaster, you will normally get this pop up right at the beginning. What it says is that, hey, here's all the different options that are available to you that you could potentially unlock if you have a certain pre-sale code. Uh, and they kind of go through the entire list for you. So you can see here, a lot of these ones are, you know, official platinum seats, gold, silver, premium type seatings. And then you have all these little orange lock boxes. So these locks basically are saying, hey, 
You can't access these unless you put in our password. Open Sesame? So if you have the right pre-sale code, you can unlock certain pre-sale tickets. So before that, I'm gonna hit the X button here just to show you how this all works. So first off, we can see the entire venue. There's a whole bunch of seats here, but a lot of these have little orange locks on them. So if I switch to the map view, I can zoom in, take a look and see. And you can see all these lock buttons. They're basically saying, hey, you can't access any of these tickets unless you have that certain pre-sale code. And now we're wondering, okay, I just uh, I just lost my, uh, my my text box there at the beginning to go ahead and put my pre-sale code in. How can I uh, how can I access this? So you actually have two ways to do it. So one is to get back to that same box. So if you click the filters button over here, you'll see here there are all these different ticket types. And at the top, you have this big box that says enter offer passcode. So this is where you would go ahead and actually type in your code. Once you type it in, magic will happen. The boxes will unlock. You'll be able to access those seats. So let's try that first. Let's type it in again. Uh, I don't really like the name of this pre-sale password, but so be it. Hit unlock. And look at that. LNHS pre-sale unlocked. Fantastic, wonderful, excellent. Let's go take a look. And you can see here now, this one is no longer orange. Fantastic. So I'm going to hit apply. And now I can see all the tickets that are available to me at this certain pre-sale. So I can see all the seats that are left. Fantastic, wonderful, excellent. And I can go ahead, zoom in, take a look, pick and choose where I want to sit. Now, when you zoom in, you'll see something interesting. So there's these dark blue seats like these ones. Then there's also these light blue seats over here. Now, these light blue seats, they are available for you to go ahead and make a purchase on them. However, they're not actually a pre-sale ticket. They are one of the other premium tickets that are currently not locked by a pre-sale code. Now, I'm going to show this to you again. One more way of actually being able to access those pre-sale tickets. So again, once you get to the page, you see it kind of pops up here. Everything is locked. But this time, we're going to do it a bit differently. We're going to come down here. We're going to say, oh, I want to sit in, uh, I want to sit in this section over here, section K3. And you can see, oh, look, special offers. And I can click unlock. And then I get the pop-up once again. So if I type in the secret code, really don't like this pre-sale code. It, they're just laughing. They're just mocking us. What is this? This is ridiculous. And you hit unlock. And there you go. Same thing. The pre-sale unlocks the tickets. As you can see here, there's another pre-sale, though, for city. City card members. So this one, if you want to access that row, I mean, it's obviously a bit better. Potentially, the price is the same. So I can go ahead and hit unlock, and I have to put in the new password. So I think in this one, it's 418000, I believe. No. Let me find it for you. 412800. Hit unlock. The magic. The magic happens. Look at that. I've now unlocked a seat in a better row at the same price, all because I had the presale password available to me. So if you go ahead, take a look at different events, presale codes will be available to you. Again, if you have a presale code, go ahead, use it because this will get you access to potentially better seats. Now, I want to mention one last thing. These codes that I'm talking about, these presale codes, sometimes some events, they will actually have other promotions and they'll, have, they'll basically call them promotional codes, presale codes. They all kind of function the same way. If you have that special code, it will unlock special type of tickets. Sometimes it's additional discounts. Sometimes it's seating in different sections, things like that. It's all available to you as long as you have those codes. So always spend a bit of time, jump on over into Google, take a look, see if you can find any free ones that are available to you. Sometimes the fan clubs will have them available on their forum pages. Others will just have them say, hey, sign up for the newsletter, you'll get it for free from there. Tons of places to go ahead and find these pre-sale codes. But if you can spend a bit of time, get them, maybe you might actually be able to get some better seats. Some will be behind a paywall though, whether it's a fan club membership, being a season seat holder, things like that, where you actually pay to get access to these pre-sales. If that's something you're interested in doing, let me know in the comments below. I can help you find out different types of pre-sale codes. Otherwise, a lot of the free ones, again, like I keep mentioning over and over again, I'll dump them down below. You can go ahead and use them as much as you want because there's no limit on who can actually go ahead and use these as long as you have the required either card or the right code to get in. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely let me know by hitting the like button down below. Also, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Great new content coming out every single week. And see you guys next time.